Looking through a microscope, this is what I found. The root hair is found a bit further from the root tip. It's easy to recognize because they are all look like hair. Root hair cell is a specialized cell because of its distinct shape. Typically, plant cell is rectangular or cubic in shape, but the root hair cell have a thin lateral extension protruding itself to the soil. Its internal structure consists of cell wall, cell membrane, nucleus, cytoplasm, central vacuole, and mitochondria floating in the cytoplasm. Each cell structure serves different functions. First, the long thin extension greatly increases the total surface area. Hence, larger amount of water is absorbed rapidly. Having no cuticle and having thin cell wall allow water and mineral to easily pass through the root. Large vacuole inside keeps the cell firm. Lots of mitochondria create energy for active transport. Unlike most of the plant cells, there is no chloroplast in the root hair cell. Not surprisingly, most of the water and mineral taken in by the plants are absorbed by the root hairs. There are two types of transportation found at the root hair, passive and active. Water passes from the soil where there are more water molecules into the root where there are less water molecules. Using passive transportation called osmosis. On the other hand, when roots draw in mineral from soil, which has lower mineral concentration than the root itself, the process requires active transportation using energy provided by mitochondria. Contribution to the survival of the plant Plants require a constant supply of water for several essential purposes, including 1. It is a reactant used in photosynthesis. 2. It is used to maintain vitality and shape of plant or gem through water pressure from central vacuole or external cell wall. 3. It is cooled plant by evaporation mm -hmm. at the stoma. For its transport, dissolve mineral around the plants.